Hi, I'm Courtney Nash. I'm an editor with O'Reilly, and I'm here today with Dan Pallone from mm -hmm. Element 84, a company that specializes in iPhone and iPad development. And we're here today to talk about automated UI testing. Yep. So, automation and testing with iPhone apps. I mean, is that really possible? Yeah, it's possible. And um, I think we've kind of reached the point where you really don't have much of a choice. Um, you know, the days of the, I the flashlight apps yeah. are gone. Right? I mean iPhone and iPad apps in particular are a lot more complicated. I mean, look at things like Pages and Keynote. Um, you know, the, you've got a serious app there, and manually testing it just doesn't scale. All right, so I can buy that maybe manually testing doesn't scale, but am I going to spend all my time writing test cases and never actually developing an app? No, no, no. no. Um, if you look at how long it takes to try to like manually test some kind of application, uh, even just like at a high level, this should work. Yeah. Um, it, it, you have to do it over and over again as you're developing. Um, time that we'll spend in the beginning uh, putting together some automation, and we're going to talk about a couple different ways to do this. Um, it, it's reusable, and it can you can kick it off and just let it go while you keep working on you know developing new features or cleaning up code or marketing the app and try to get some sales. That actually sounds pretty good. Okay. All right, let's get started. Okay, Dan, so today we're going to be talking about automating UI testing. Uh, we have another breakdown series where we talk a bit about unit testing. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, tell me what's different about automating and UI testing. So um, when we talk about unit testing, we're talking about you know, small tests on like a class and method level, and mm -hmm. we're just kind of doing internal stuff. And then we can raise it up a little to um, what Apple calls application testing, um, kind of integration tests at the app level. But you're still kind of on the wrong side of the screen. Like you're still inside the app, poking around internally in the application. Mm -hmm. um, what automated UI testing lets us do is basically it runs outside of your application. It it sees the app just like um, you know a user would see the application, and it lets you. And you know, with automated UI testing, we can walk through the application. We can test functionality from one end to the other just like a user would, without you having to sit there and actually poke at the thing. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very real world right. type of testing. Right, like an app, a real application. By the time you get you know anywhere into developing it, it's just too big to do manually. Like you just end up going through. It's just it would take forever to sit there. And you'll probably and, miss you'll probably miss stuff. Right, right? you miss things, and you kind of get into um, like the beaten path kind of problem where. Mm -hmm. This is how you've tested it, and so you just keep testing it that way because you're trying to get to this piece of functionality, your new functionality. Yeah. And so you just you miss variations that users could do. You miss all these different ways. You just you lose the discipline of trying to go through and test this thing. Yeah. And so it's, you just want to make it not your problem. It's more computerized, less almost humanized right. in a way. Yep. You want to make it not your problem. You want to focus on developing code. Mm -hmm. Let the system run the you know, run through testing over and over and over again and make sure things work. So we've got an app today that we're going to be using that you've written. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell tell us a little bit more about that. So we have an app called uh, Seizure Tracker, and um, it's from a, uh, a small site, seizuretracker.com, that uh, basically does epilepsy tracking. Okay. And um, they have a website where um, as, you know, it reaches a point where the neurologist will ask you to start tracking and logging information, trigger information, um, the what the event was, what kind of event it was, how long it lasted, things like that. And uh, they build a website for this, and they can generate all these great reports uh, for the neurologist. And so they asked us um, if we could develop an iPhone version of that. And um, part of the appeal of putting it on the iPhone was the camera. And basically, this lets them capture pieces of the actual event to right. show the neurologist and work on medication tuning and whatnot. Yeah, no matter where they are, they, somebody's got a phone. Right. With yep. them, yeah. And so uh, we built this app for them. Um, and I can show you what it looks like real quickly here. So this is the launch screen, and then um, there's a bunch of functionality here, and we'll go to basically the library. And what I wanted to show you, um, you know, these are the list of events we've been capturing, and we have thumbnails. Mm -hmm. And then when a user goes to add a new event, um, there's a fair amount of data we can collect here. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty complicated. Yep, and then when we go in, even within here, um, we start to get additional pieces of the UI that drop in and different oh, wow. things to test. And so. Every time I made a change, if I wanted to come in and test all the different variations on this, it would take forever that to go like through and manually poke at all the different paths, code paths. And yeah. so what we want to do is look at a way to automate this functionality so that we don't have to do it um, you know, with each code change. And in the end, we're going to put together a much better application that we know is solid because it's always being tested every time I touch a line of code. Well, let's get started. Sounds great. <laughs> 